What's up guys, welcome back to HMHT, my name is Ben and today we have a brand new iOS update and it's 15.1 developer beta 1. I'm updating on a developer profile so if you are a public beta tester and you are updating using a public uh, profile, you might not be able to see this update today but do check again tomorrow as it could be updated for public beta testers and for me on my iPhone X that I'm updating from iOS 15 to iOS 15. 15.1 you can see the exact update size that it came in at exactly 4.82 gigs and this is not all that apple released today you can see my device right here and just in case you are curious these are iphone 13 wallpapers that are going to be coming out very soon with the new iphones but if you can't wait to get them and you want them you can always let me know in the comments and i'll send them to you but i want to show you some other updates that apple released today so you can see that finally apple released mac os monterey beta 7 they also released ios 15.1 beta 1 and also ipad os 15.1 beta 1 watch os 8.1 beta 1 and tvos 15.1 beta 1 most of these updates i'm going to be covering here on the channel so if you haven't subscribed a sub to the channel would be great now if we go to see the software changes that came with this update you can see the new build number that we have here on ios 15.1 beta 1 and it's 19 b 50428h so we now have a build number that ends with an h and in terms of stability that is very bad news so highly unstable and then there's a modern firmware update that is 4.50.02 and before it used to be 5.00.00 so modern firmware changes now there's a new feature that i would like to show you that came with ios 15.1 and it has to do with facetime so when you go into facetime and you actually start a new facetime call with someone or with another device you can see that you now have the ability to share your screen or share play and if you click there you can see that it says share my screen and this is not all if you go into an application that has media that can be shared for example if you go into the music app while on a facetime call you will notice that here it says you can choose uh, content to use share and also another app like for example if we go into the apple tv app you notice that the same notification comes it says choose content to use share play and basically the person you are calling on facetime here will be able to uh, see what you are seeing and the audio will be in sync which is something that's great and i have also another new feature that i would like to show you that has to do with your immunization records when it comes to ios 15.1 so very soon you'll be able to add your immunization records on ios 15.1 when it comes out this is um, this feature depends on the region that you're in and the way you are going to see your immunization record you have to go into your wallet app and you get a QR code that shows your immunization record and it cannot be faked since this is authenticated and you basically see a QR code like I showed you here you just have to go into the health app and input your information and after that you get a QR code with your information in the wallet app that is something that's good and that's going to be coming also another change that came with ios 15.1 beta 1 has to do with the photos so shout out to steve moza right here over on twitter as he's the first person that i saw that tweeted this so it says ios 15 beta 1 not only can cinematic mode detect face uh, pet faces but it can also track spot balls so if you go into your photos app or rather this is the code that it managed to find object person and, and pet so for example if we use the term pet and go into the photos app and perform a search for pet so if we search for pet you can see that it will give you different categories mammal flower plant and clothing and it can also identify different items and objects like a person and so on and also a spot ball so that is something that's good and also when it comes to the iphone 13 pro and 13 pro max since those have prores support in the camera you this 
iOS 15.1 finally adds that in the photos so that is something that's good and that you can always check out and then also there's an application that received some updates which is the weather app so when you open your weather app and go to the region that depicts your area you can see that the weather app isn't in like a darker mode like what it was before on iOS 15 so that is an update and you can see like the the heat with the heat uh signs that make up your map and there won't be like a dark theme behind it which is something that good that came with this update and also something that i wanted to uh, show you if you have like airpods and also you have a home pod this update adds lossless audio for home pods and special audio for airpods with more features that you know enable you to track the location of your iphone using your audio which is something that's good now basically those are the new features when it comes to some issues that i ran into myself the first one has to do with connectivity to the apple watch so when i updated it wasn't communicating properly with my apple watch so i had to power cycle the device and then turn on and off wi-fi and bluetooth and after that it was good and then also some people are complaining about storage when it comes to this device it might show that you have more storage than you actually do or you are using more storage than you actually are so those are some of the issues nothing major but you can see that the build number is highly unstable and basically this update is just a beta and just has some minor improvements since we just got ios 15 and in terms of when we are going to get or i expect us to get ios 15.1 beta 2 maybe after two weeks since this just came out so on the week of october 5th we could be getting ios 15.1 beta 2 now other than that that's about it for me when it comes to ios 15.1 if you like this video a like will be good and a sub will be great stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace